Hi everyone, my name is Melissa. In this video, we'll examine the stacked data challenge from Excel BI. The task is to turn this single column of data into a proper table, where each type of data has its own column and subsequently will add a rank on population. If you haven't participated yet and want to give this a go yourself, I highly recommend it. A link to the challenge can be found in the description of this video. Let's go to the Power Query Editor. The columns we're going to create will need names, so I'll create a list for that. I'll open the Advanced Editor window, and all the way at the top, I'll add a variable called List Columns. And add a list with all of the values for that. Press down. Next, I'll drill down into this column. So I'll right click that data header, drill down. For each row of data, there are five values present. I'm going to split that out. List split. And the page size is five. Press that check mark and this now returns a list with nested lists and when i click off to the side in the white space we can see a preview down below so for each row in my table i now have a list with all of the values that are associated with that but let's turn this into a record so we can also assign field names to each of these values inside the formula bar i'll add list transform each record from list there it is press tab to select it i can use the underscore to refer to the list and fields as any so here i can call my list columns variable closing parentheses press that check mark so instead of a list with lists we now have a list with records let's press off to the side in the white space again to see the result and we see that each item now also has a field name assigned to it perfect let's turn this into a table so table from records just wrap that around it and press that check mark awesome for the ranking on population, I'll use the relatively new M function table dot at ranking column. So I'll press the FX in front here. And we'll use table at ranking column. There it is. So once a table and new column name, so that's going to be a text value. Let's call that rank by population. Comma, the comparison criteria. So that's the list and we'll look for the column. 2022 population, so that's this one, 2022. population and we need to order that descending so order descend close off our function let's press that check mark and it's now added that ranking column and it also sorted the table in the desired output that ranking by population was the first column of the table so we can also reorder the columns here I'll just copy the new column name, control C to copy that. And inside the formula bar, we'll add table reorder columns. Let's see if we can find it. Reorder columns, there it is. It wants a table and then 
a column order as a list. So we'll create a list and paste in that new column name and we'll append our list columns to that. Close that function off and press that check mark. All done. In this video, you've seen a solution to the stacked data challenge from Excel BI. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Thank you so much for watching. All the best. Hey everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.